I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 8th of December. Severe weather. A potential problem tonight. A lot to talk about. Let's get right to it. First off, the view from downtown Birmingham. A rain is falling. That's on top of the Daniel Building. Down in Shelby County, rain falling on the campus of the University of Montevallo. But looky here, the sun is shining down on the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's a Dolphin Island Sea uh, Lab uh, sky cam there. And that uh, warmer, more unstable air is working northward. Boy, what a storm. A uh, whopper of a trough coming out of the Rockies. The Weather Service in Des Moines, Iowa, calling this a snowstorm of epic proportion for those folks. Uh, they're going to be buried all the way from Denver to Des Moines and Milwaukee. Of course, around here, we're in the warm sector. Temperatures are warming up indeed. Look at Tuscaloosa. They've got 63. Montgomery at 61. So no doubt there will be some fairly decent pockets of instability tonight. Not extremely unstable air, but certainly sufficient for severe weather problems. There's the radar at 130. Got uh, areas of rain covering much of the state uh, south of a line from Muscle Shoals down to Roanoke, and uh, we'll see occasional rain this afternoon. But, of course, the concern, it's the potential for severe weather tonight. Uh, there's a look at the current surface analysis across the Deep South, and you can see that those higher dew points are beginning to work their way northward up the Mississippi River. Uh, dew points in excess of 60 degrees. And, uh, again, that little tongue of instability will be working its way into Alabama later this afternoon and early tonight. Now, so far, the uh, true surface-based capes are still just showing up in the far bottom part of that picture over uh, south-central Louisiana. But uh, they'll be working their way rapidly northward over the next three hours, and we'll probably see instability values of perhaps 500 to 1,000 joules around here later tonight. Look at the uh, storm relative helicity, and, yeah, come on now, they're off the chart. This is zero to one kilometer. This is the lowest level. Uh, the max is over uh, Tennessee on the Cumberland Plateau, but certainly those values here are very high. And the zero to three kilometer helicity value is about the same. So a deeply sheared environment setting the stage for potential uh, rotating updrafts uh, this afternoon and tonight. There's the uh, risk for the rest of today and tonight, a slight risk. That's the standard risk over all of Alabama, Mississippi, and much of Louisiana and Arkansas. The tornado probabilities are highest along the U.S. 80 corridor and really about 60 miles either side of that highway or Vicksburg to Jackson and Montgomery. That would include places like Demopolis, Tuscaloosa, Greensboro, Brent, York, Livingston. And the wind probabilities are highest over the southern two-thirds of Mississippi and Alabama. That's the chance of winds of 58 miles per hour or greater within 25 miles of a given point. And, yep, first tornado watch of the day. Valid until 9 o'clock tonight for a pretty good chunk of Louisiana and Mississippi. That includes Greenville, Greenwood, Jackson, Yazoo City, Vicksburg, Monroe, Louisiana, Crossette, Arkansas. And you can see that uh, line of convection beginning to form on the front from uh, below Little Rock down to about Shreveport, and that will be working through that box later this evening. And uh, I'd say it's pretty likely we will have a tornado watch for at least West Alabama later tonight. Goodness gracious. Look at all that. I mean, you talk about a mess. We could be thankful this is not a big travel day around the nation. Blizzard warnings, winter storm warnings, all the way up from uh, Denver to Detroit, Green Bay, Milwaukee. That includes cities like uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Chicago, Kansas City, Omaha, and all the counties highlighted down here, those are wind advisories. Uh, the winds are going to pick up this afternoon and tonight out of the south, uh, maybe gusting as high as 30. Uh, flash flood watch for parts of South Mississippi and some of the parishes down in southeast Louisiana. And there's the snow bullseye. And again, you can see uh, Omaha, Des Moines, Chicago, Milwaukee. They'll be buried in snow as this thing moves northeast. And the rain for the next five days, this is valid through Sunday morning. This takes into account two rain events, the one tonight and today, and the next one Friday night and Saturday. And between those two rain events, this is suggesting four inches down at Gulf Shores with amounts of two inches up this way. And that sounds pretty good to us. Let's take a look at it. Uh, well, first off, temperatures wanted to show you this. It's cold up there behind that storm. Uh, at midday, we're talking 1 o'clock this afternoon, some uh, spots are at 16 below zero over Montana. And this is early December, very early in the season for that. It uh, looks like Denver's sitting at, what, about 4 degrees above zero. 
And some of that air will be pulled down in here Thursday and Friday. Very shallow, though, not deep, as you'll see. Uh, now, let's look at modeling. This is tomorrow at uh, noon, based on the 12Z GFS at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Whop River Ridge pumped all the way up to Alaska, connecting with the Arctic air. Uh, downstream trough, and you can see down below that, the uh, surface low is 976 millibars near Detroit. And the rain will be long gone. Really, tomorrow now, the cold air not getting in here. We, we'll probably do low to mid-60s with a pretty decent amount of sunshine in the dry slot. Tomorrow should be the nicest day of the week, but Thursday, here comes the colder air. Uh, the surface high gets close. Uh, we'll be in the 40s. Some parts of North Alabama probably in the 30s all day. That's going to be a cold day. Not so sure it's as sunny as we're talking about in the forecast because uh, we've got the, that rain not too far south of here. And we will probably have uh, uh, some high clouds around, but still cold and dry. Friday, here comes the next impulse. With the chance of rain maybe by Friday afternoon and Friday night. Saturday looks wet, but the good news, the models are trending warmer. Now, again... We won't feel completely confident in this until we get out of this thing tonight, but for the moment, it looks like a cold rain. Uh, late Friday, Friday night, and Saturday. Just kind of a raw, wet, damp day to kick off the weekend. And then Sunday, that's on by. That will be a dry and cool day with a high probably in the low 50s. And we'll go to Monday of next week. We stay dry, but look at Tuesday, a week from today. Pretty good-looking trough. Big surface low coming up through East Alabama. Looks like a snowstorm maybe for uh, northwest Tennessee, up into Missouri and Illinois, Indiana, with heavy rain here. And then uh, the following day, Wednesday the 16th, very cold, maybe some wraparound snow flurries with a bomb going up the eastern seaboard and a whopper of a snowstorm for some of the interior sections of the northeast, if this is right. Oh, it's a very interesting month. Here comes another one three days later. This is the 20th of December. A low coming up out of the Gulf. Rain, snow, what's it going to be? We don't know. We don't even know if it'll be there, but it certainly could. And the end of the forecast, Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? Uh, this looks showing somewhat of a split flow, a trough down there in the southern branch, and it looks like snowy weather out there for the Rockies. But look, we don't even want to go into Christmas weather here. We're just looking. The bottom line is the rest of the month looking cold and unsettled for much of the country. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you are local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.